With the world on lockdown and all of us self-isolating, there's no better time to catch up on some great horror. And why not watch films that show that today's worries of isolation, quarantines, and pandemics aren't really all that bad. So here are our picks for the absolute best horror films to make you feel better about coronavirus. First up is horror classic 28 Days Later. Opening up on a scene that looks scarily like today's empty streets, 28 Days Later is a visionary zombie film from director Danny Boyle. Taking place in Britain 28 days after a viral epidemic, the film follows a group of survivors trying to survive as society crumbles around them and is absolutely terrifying as a result. You can stream 28 Days Later for free on Hulu. Next up is the Korean horror action film Train to Busan. Another zombie film, this time from director Yeon Sang-ho, Train to Busan mixes together pulse-pounding action, snowpiercer-like set pieces, class warfare, dark comedy, and, surprisingly, incredibly realistic and sympathetic characters. If you want to be filled with adrenaline, take a trip to Busan. Train to Busan is currently streaming on Netflix. But if you're looking to see the vast effects of a global pandemic, the globe-trotting World War Z is the perfect film for you. Breaking out of the often limited scope zombie film, World War Z sees Brad Pitt traveling all over the world to try to find a cure for a growing zombie apocalypse. World War Z manages to deftly weave together a myriad of tones in order to showcase the diversity behind how the world would handle a true zombie outbreak. World War Z is free to watch if you have Hulu. Yet, instead of jumping all around the world, many of us have been forced into self-isolation. And no film showcases that feeling better than I Am Legend. Alone in a vampire-slash-zombie-filled New York City, Will Smith and his dog manage to find moments of grace despite their city-sized isolated prison. Smith brings a deep vulnerability and humanity to a role that could have easily been overdone making us feel the true weight that loneliness brings upon all of us. While the film's ending has been controversial for its drastic changes from the source material, there is always the movie's alternate ending available if you're looking for a much more uplifting end. I Am Legend is available to rent on iTunes, YouTube, and Amazon. Despite our self-isolations, a lot of us have to venture outside, so all of us have learned about social distancing. And no film makes you understand that more than the horror classic Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Originally conceived as a metaphor for the dangers of communism, Invasion of the Body Snatchers remains prescient today by tapping into our current fears of not trusting our neighbors and feeling like the world just feels slightly off at the moment. The film's equally excellent 1978 reboot also wonderfully displays our feelings of paranoia and fear. The original film is free on Crackle and available for rent elsewhere, and the 1978 reboot is free on Amazon Prime. Yet, perhaps no film showcases just how quickly a disease can spread than the amazing 2007 Spanish horror film Wreck. While many may know this film through its English remake, the aptly titled 2008 film Quarantine, the original found footage film shows us a single apartment complex where we slowly learn that a disease is spreading among the neighbors. The film has some surprising twists and turns, but never ever lets you feel safe. Wreck is available for rent on YouTube and Amazon. But perhaps all the doom and gloom might feel a bit much. So if you're looking for a film that shows you how to find the positives, even in a pandemic, then our final recommendation, Shaun of the Dead, is perfect. Especially since it's free to stream on Hulu. Despite finding himself in a zombie apocalypse, the titular Sean flat out refuses to give in to depression, and fights his way to his favorite pub to last out the disaster with his favorite pint of beer and his best mates. Something that I think almost all of us hope to do soon.